and welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube for some Azorius Circle for our Tuesday Bruise Day deck. Um, so Tuesday Bruise Days are where we build around cards that are not seeing um, very much, if any, play at all in Standard. And so this deck we're building around Verity Circle. All right, so this is two in a... Two and a blue for an enchantment. Whenever a creature an opponent controls becomes tapped, if it isn't being declared as an attacker, you may draw a card, and you may also spend five mana to tap a creature without flying. All right, so we want to be able to tap our opponent's creatures. So that's what that's what we want to be able to do. All right, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to pair it with Gadwick, because Gadwick, whenever it's in play, if we cast a blue spell, we get to tap a creature. You know, not land permanent, but you know, like so every blue spell that we cast. We get to tap something, so we're definitely pairing it with those two. So that's that's like the to start off with. Um, then to add on to it, we're going with this depose deploy, especially the depose part. You see two mana instant tap a creature draw a card. Well, if we have a Verity Circle in play, that's like tap a creature draw two cards, right? So like that's you know it's divination plus tap a creature at instant speed. If we have Verity Circle in play, so that's going to be um, pretty important there. Um, I also just wanted kind of kind of wanted like some some more blue cards and like some more removal, and so I went with Warrant Warden also, because um, like this is a blue spell for Gadwick to be able to tap something, but it's also removal. There's not a whole lot of blue removal, right? So um, I thought the Warrant would be pretty cool to play. Um, and I was kind of planning on playing Mono Blue with this deck, but with Depose and with Warden both wanting a little bit of white, decided to splash a little bit of white. Um, I've, we're only playing a couple of other white cards. We're going to play one Dovin Architect of Law um, for our card advantage engine with that plus one. And also because the minus one says tap target creature. So if we have Verity Circle in play, we can draw some cards there with that minus one. And then I'm also going to go ahead and play some giant killers over here. It could be removal for large creatures, you know, like a questing beast or something. But then we can also just play it for one mana and we have the one in a white tap to tap target creature. So we have um, another way to tap creatures for Verity Circle to be able to draw cards there. Um, besides that, we just got uh, some other just instant speed blue stuff with like Opt, Brazen Borrow for removal. Um, so those can trigger Gadwick on our opponent's turn before they attack. Um, I got a little bit of counter magic in here with a couple vetoes, a couple sabotages. I also want to try a couple of Kefnets because Kefnet works really well with like Depose, Deploy, and Warrant Warden. Um, and then, you know, we're just playing like some other spells. It can work very well with mass manipulation also. We'll see how the Kefnets do. Uh, good chance the Kefnets should just be Teferis, honestly. But again, like I said, I started building this as mono blue and wanted to just play only a little bit of white. Um, sideboard, again, like always, Oko is going to be a huge problem. And just Planeswalkers in general. I'm, you know, we have a lot of stuff here to tap creatures and we're worried about creatures. But the decks that are not playing creatures and just playing a bunch of Planeswalkers, I think we're going to struggle with those. Um, so as you see in the sideboard, we got Dovin's Vetoes, we got Spyglass for creatures, we got or sorry for Planeswalkers, we got Prison Realm for Planeswalkers. Um, so that's our that's our plan over there. If they're playing tons of creatures and we need sweepers, I got some time wipes in the board. Um, Devout Decree for aggro and Ether Gust is a good overall card in the format. Also. All right, so let's see how this goes. Let's see if we can actually get some Verity Circles out and drawing some cards. I could see, like, finishing games being a little difficult, but hopefully Mass Manipulation stealing some stuff. And, and like, if we're able to, like, tap their creatures all the time, then maybe we can get in some damage with the Borrowers, the Gadwicks, and the Kefnets. Would you say this deck is a good upgrade for people who bought the Dovin Planeswalker deck? Um, probably not. I, I think, like, like regular blue-white control, like, the deck that we played yesterday, um, if you're watching this on YouTube, just the Azorius control from yesterday, the best of, it was a, I played it in best of one, but it was really a best of three list. That's the deck that I would recommend that you build towards, um, for the Dovin Planeswalker deck. There's a good chance the Verity Circle isn't real good. But we're we're gonna be trying to build with it anyway. Hmm. 
I want to see if they, you know, I didn't want to just like bounce the Scorch Bitter before combat and then second main they just play a second land and replay it. Um. Hey, Wrangler. Yeah, yeah, so Dovin is worse than Big Teferi, but Big Teferi is not in the format, so that, that doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if it's worse than a card that's not in the format. It's like, yeah, Sinister Sabotage is worse than Mana Drain. Doesn't matter. Let's see. Yeah, let's keep borrower. Yeah, I, I do need to play some Abzan decks in the future. That's a that's a guild that I have not been playing very much. Um, I don't. I um, next Monday I had it written down as like a best of one deck to play for next next Monday. Um, as. Play this thing and this thing. An Abzan anti aggro deck and just build like a for best of one with like all of the aggro decks and best of one, build a really um, heavily slanted anti aggro Abzan deck. What's on the menu today? We got some some classics today. All right, we get divination Gadwick. You know, we just finished up with Is It Drakes, which did really well, and then after this, we got Boros Feather, Grixis Amass, Two War of the Spark, classic decks there. Yeah, did real well with Drakes. Tap that. Thank you. Ooh, that's a good card. I wish I had mana to reveal and, and cast it. You know, like the two mana deploy... Um, you know, two mana, like, you know, if you have the Kefnet, two mana deploy, just make two creatures, and then it, we would gain four life. That would have been nice. <laughs> Tappity tap, tap, tap. Gotta get your tap dance and shoes on. What? I guess they're just going straight for me. They're not killing the Gadwick. All right. That doesn't do anything, right? Yeah, because they're just revealing Brazen Borrower. I wish I could cast the deploy part, but we gotta cast... I mean, I guess I could cast Deploy. Make this thing unblockable, though. No, we should just cast Depose. Nice. That's good. So I was going to cast Borrower, but now we get to, now we actually do get to cast Deploy. That's a great draw. Dude, this is sweet. 
They have this Torbrand out here, but they don't even get to do anything with it. They can't ever attack. Get to gain four life. Get a couple more little one ones. Um. I think I'm still gonna have lethal next turn anyway. I, I, I was debating on like playing the borrower to bounce Torbran, and then tap the Bone Crusher Giant. Oh, if this thing becomes hard of a spell, our ability does so much damage to me. Hmm. Oh wait, it's just a spell, right? Not ability. So I could do I could do that with the ability part. So that's six damage. That's fine. That's not going to kill me. Alright, that thing's out of here. Back up to 11. All right, you got me for three. Well, that was pretty cool. No, the foil Kefnet didn't make the Thopter's foil. Oh, wait. It did. You're right. Casting the... You're right. Casting the Deploy off of the Kefnet made two card-style Thopters. That is... You're right. It did. And then the other... The regular Deploy ones were not card-styled. Huh. Yeah. I guess that did happen. Yeah, to... Deposed deploy, super clutch there, first game. Um, so like Devout Decree, Prison Realm, Ether Gust, all of that makes sense. I think Sabotage is probably a little slow. The mass manipulation is definitely slow. Unfortunately, I think we probably, probably need a Trim Verity Circle because it's just like... This is just a matchup where it's so fast that we can't really draw a lot of Verity Circles. Maybe we would just play like two of them then. I kind of want to keep in the Architect of Law because of the just plus one gain two life. And we could just keep gaining two life a lot. Um, but maybe I shouldn't. It is six mana. I could, I could get rid of the Vetoes also. That means that burn spells, if I get rid of the vetoes and play like a time wipe, that means burn spells are going to be real good against me. No, I should be scared of burn spells. We already have a lot of anti-creature stuff. All right, we're going to get rid of the Dovin and we're going to play two vetoes. Yeah, the Dovins are really not that bad. We we played a um, we played a blue white con or we played Esper Control last week with that had a six mana Dovin and it was awesome. It it really helped us stabilize because you know like with Esper Control like we would get down to like four or five life or something like that, be able to slam Dovin, gain two, 
untap, gain two more, gain two more, and like the the game was over because they couldn't they couldn't come back after all the life gain. Yeah, it was it was surprising how it was better than Liliana for us a lot in that deck. There was just a lot of situations like we had. I guess you know like that that uh, uh, we weren't playing Liliana, but if we were playing Liliana, Liliana would have been worse than the Dovin. That I was glad that we were playing Dovin instead. Well, I wish I could have Giant Killer plus Counter Magic. We're going to need to find land. Hey, Project Vanner. We're going to need to find land here. So should I just, like, Ether Gust? Or Borrower? Just do one of those on the Scourge Spitter? I'm gonna do this. I I kind of expect them to put it on the bottom. Like I don't, I don't really expect them to want to draw Scorch Spitter. So you know it's basically just two mana removal. Hmm. Shockland. I am just blocking the 3 1 with the 1 2. I think. Yeah. They just have the Dodger and one other card. So we're doing a pretty good job of stabilizing. I'd like to draw an untapped land. Uh, go to six. To draw two with Gadwick. Do I just draw one? Just draw on the one. I did underestimate deploy, I think. Boo. Or our ability to go wide with deploy. I adore. That's an awesome draw. 
Here we go, Verity Circle. We're doing it. So I guess we're, I'm casting Depose. That's it. Game over. We're doing it. Man, this is some nice synergy here. Okay, so we're going to tap this creature, draw a card, Gadwick trigger, tap this one. So tap, draw a card. Ooh, it's even a may. It's a may. So you have to click yes every time. Draw a card there. Draw a card there. It's just ancestral recall. Yeah. <laughs> Tap two creatures. Draw three cards. For two mana. Such good value. Welcome. Hmm. The more, the messy. It's going to be a little bit more difficult. Huh. Okay, good card there. Fine then. I'll leave. Yeah, this energy is, is so cool. This has been pretty awesome. Well, we're blocking. Hey, Silver. Yeah, I took all the blue-white cards that were neglected and gave them a home. Yay. Not dead. ZQ with the Twitch Prime sub. Thanks, ZQ. Well, it's not game yet. Opponent. All right. Um... We got our one Gadwick out there. I think we're good. Yeah, I definitely need to keep this Dovin's Veto available. It's like the most important thing. So instead of instead of using Giant Killer to tap, I'm going to play the Brazen Borrower to tap. Um, 
to be able to get some more power in play. Be able to help racing situation. Uh, they're not going to have like instant speed do three damage with two lands, right? I don't even think that's in the format. That's the card. That's the card. Arena's trying to be all laggy. They're saying you're getting too much card advantage. Okay, we're back. We're back. If it gets bad like that, you just gotta refresh. Okay, so before attackers, I'm going to cast Deploy. Uh, no, you can't really tap a tapped creature. I mean, you, you can target it, but it doesn't, it doesn't actually tap it. And there we go. Deploy puts us back up to nine. GG. Well, that was pretty awesome. Yeah, they, they said GG early as in as in they, they knew that they were going to lose. That's They were thinking that I was going to be winning um, when they said the GG there. Not GG as in they thought they were going to win. That was awesome. They were um, they were playing a lot of creatures, and that was good for me. And thanks, Backstream Driver. Forest. I don't really want to shock for opt and then shock to have these things available. I'll just shock next turn. Cool. We don't want to see planeswalkers. Planeswalkers are our bane. And we're we're playing, yeah. It's not ranked, but we're playing in the uh, the constructed queue where you where you win gold based on how many wins you get. You know, it costs a thousand gold to enter.
Well, it's unfortunate for us that another Oko. Hmm. I think I maybe I think I probably need to just play the borrower to pressure Oko. It's so much loyalty though. The problem is Oko turns Gadwick into an elk, and that's a huge problem. So we have a big weakness. It's the best card in the format. But are they even Like is there anything that's actually good against Oko? Probably not. So I'll think up a fun fate for you. It's not really any different our deck not being good against Oko when nothing's good against Oko. My opponent just had two of them, so GG. Good job. I, I do have one prison realm in here, but that's like my only prayer is drawing the prison realm. Oh dear. Well, they're not killing Gadwick, and they didn't steal Gadwick last turn. Oko had six loyalty the, the last turn. They could have just traded their... Let's broaden your existence. Um, we're going to be drawing a ton of cards here. That's cool. Ooh. Hmm. It's going to be even more cards.
We can play a whole bunch of defense if they just leave my Gadwick alone. Like, we'll, we'll be fine. The thing is, my, my opponent may figure it out and actually elk my Gadwick. But until then, we're going to be playing a whole lot of defense. They didn't just make a make a food. Mm, you're a tricksy one. Um I don't think there's a card that's just destroy all tapped creatures. Wow, they have really not figured that out. I'm very glad they haven't. Welcome to the feast. Okay. Man, Arena's being really bad. We're, I'm going to have to reset Arena after this one. It's being really bad right now. Wow, it's being really bad. So we're going to draw five cards here. Just going to let that fight happen. Not save their wolf. Well, I found a sabotage if I could bounce Oko. What's Watsi's favorite vegetable? Memory leak. Hey excerpts. Um, if you missed this deck so far, it's been it's been playing really well. Gaze into my face and put on your true shape. There we go. That's a card for Oko. Sure. Let's 
probably need to stop drawing so many cards at this point. Should I get two more draw triggers? Uh, this is kind of a lot of draw triggers. <laughs> oh no, we're definitely not out of the woods yet, but... This arena lag is really annoying. It's been so bad this game. This is like the worst it's ever been. Like I can't even do anything right now. So five, six. Guess I shouldn't attack just in case. Uh, of course. Revel with your king, wild and sovereign and free. Why would they not just kill my Oko? It's not poison. Trust me. Let's broaden your existence. We're gonna like run out of time because of this lag, like in the match. I grace you with my lack of presence. Uh, they're not going to have a fourth Oko, right? No way they have a fourth Oko. Our only our win con right now is attacking them. We're gonna attack them with these things. We're gonna kill them in just a couple of turns because their creatures are always tapped. So we're gonna be attacking them. Yeah, like they're at this point, it was looking great for us because they just never got rid of Gadwick. They never figured that out. Yeah, I made this. Yep, I made this deck excerpts for uh, Tuesday Brews Day. Build around janky cards like Verity Circle. All right, so we got to have these spy glasses for Oko. Hmm. 
The thing is, is like everything is like kind of good. You know, like time wipes good. There's not cards that aren't good. Maybe this Warrant Warden is not good because you can't really cast it before attackers. It's the thing that I've noticed that it's kind of. kind of misplaced. All right, I guess we'll try this. Yeah, my opponent thought that they didn't want to turn a 3-3. Three, three, like, just turning a 3-3 three, three into a 3-3 three, three would be a waste of Oko. Wrath of God would be so much better than Time Wipe. I don't know. Time Wipe's pretty awesome. Like, look, like you know, like we get to bounce our Gadwick, put our Gadwick back in our hand. Like that's pretty sweet. Yeah, one less mana does matter. I mean, it would be nice to have a sweeper this next turn. Underestimate my fortitude. Yeah, there's a Twitch channel on Roku. I have a Roku TV, and there's a tw and there's Twitch. I can watch Twitch on my Roku. So there's yeah, there's a there's a Twitch thing. I'm not sure why you can't find it. Yeah, Spyglass on Nissa is not great. I agree. It's not ideal.
Uh, I can't bounce Spyglass. This only bounces permanents my opponent controls. I won't forgive this. Well, that's gonna hurt. The land fights for us. Yeah, Golgari Queen's a problem. Planeswalkers are a problem for us. But I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to play some some cards that aren't the best. But we're going to have a hole somewhere, and Planeswalkers are the hole that I have. It's just how it is. As long as we win, nothing else matters. Non-land permanent. Can't even tap these lands. Hmm. Well, that's definitely a problem. Hey, what's up, Vito? You're a little late. That's definitely a problem. I guess my best choice is Gosh, I just I don't know what I'm gonna do about these things. I can survive another turn by casting deploy here, and we can try to draw a time wipe. Well, I don't know what I'm gonna do about these things over here. But yeah, Golgari Queen. Like my my Planeswalker answers are Spyglass and Prison Realm, and Golgari Queen just shut down both of those. That was that was devastating. That Golgari Queen. If they just drew, you know, like some other random card, like a Wicked Wolf, even or just whatever else, like if. If they didn't have this Nissa here, Sometimes. Um, and you know, like they've already drawn extra cards, like honestly, this Golgari Queen just won on the game. Because I had I had Nissa Spyglass. So I guess I guess I'm gonna take out Ether Gust and play more um, interaction for the Planeswalkers.
Okay. We'll get an extra time wipe in here. Oh, uh, thanks, Anto. Yeah, the yeah. Thanks for subscribing to the YouTube channel. Yep, the I put the decks up like right away. So yeah, is it Drake's is already up on YouTube now. Yeah, it's real convenient whenever you miss. Yep, you missed a video to be able to go back watch it on YouTube, and you can even, um, you know, sometimes like a game of Magic's a little slow, so you can watch it on like one and a half speed. I know a lot of people like doing that. Also. Well, I mean, we've put up a really good fight against, you know, Soul Tai Food, like one of the, like probably the best deck in the format. We put up a good fight, you know, like we're in game three here. Turn two, Oko. Okay. Twirl and curl, one bite, and all your cares are gone. <laughs> he spans. He spam the double tap. Your new look is enchanting. Yeah, you did that with yesterday's videos. You got the yeah, the Boros Knights was already really fast. Finish that thing in no time, then. Well, my only good news is that they don't really have lands. Never mind. And so that they would have to use, like, the mana creatures for lands. Oko Vraska Nissa, these cards. I think a little merriment is in order. Pretty tough for me to beat. Alright, so my plan is to bounce. The 3-3. Three, three. Have Brazen Borrower try to kill Vraska. Let's broaden your existence. Have Manipulation Steel Oko. Do I wait longer? Are they holding up counter magic? I guess I steal Oko, they just kill it with Vraska. So we'll just do the Brazen Borrower thing again this turn. Get rid of this 3-3. Have two creatures to attack this Vraska. Welcome to the <laughs> feast. Yeah, our deck is very... Is very island heavy.
We don't have very much white mana in our deck. Well, that's killer. You can't bounce your own things with Borrower. Is our game. Doesn't work like that. So we'll get this planes. Another Veil of Summer. So I have to stop Golgari Queen. Because otherwise, they'll just destroy Spyglass. It'll just be a waste. But obviously, this other Veil of Summer, we need to draw a counter spell. Wait, this isn't gonna work. This isn't gonna work. I just played into Veil of Summer. Why is Veil of Summer so broken? That's not gonna work. Guess I had a time wipe. I was thinking that I, I, I was thinking I had another turn, and I, and I could have not time wipe and just tap their creature and be able to have the time wipe for the next turn and you know be able to draw two off of verity circle like the two verity circles be able to draw two and everything obviously the the fail of summer men i couldn't do my line but my so you know i could have killed both of these and then you know we take three and live to fight another day, and that's obviously what I had to do. Well, we put up a really good fight there. I don't know, maybe if I cast the Time Wipe, who knows? If I would have just capped, cast the Time Wipe. Yeah, one mana Cryptic Command. The two of them, you know, like they had the one to protect their wolf. That really hurt. Um, and then... Because if they don't have that... Um, yeah, I'm just resetting Arena because it was, it was acting up. They didn't, you know, if they couldn't protect the wolf there, if they didn't have that one, then I would have been able to attack and kill the Golgari Queen, and then we could have spied Glass Doko. It would have been a lot better, but... I mean, if I had Teferi, Teferi would have just been dead a long time before that. I don't. I don't think I. I don't know. Like we didn't. I don't think we lost that because we didn't have Teferi. Like Teferi would have just died. Like would have got eaten by the Golgari Queen, or by all the creatures that were doing damage to us. Like the Teferi wasn't going to be alive. It's like, yeah, if I had a Teferi in my hand at the very end also, I could have protected from Veil of Summer, but I don't I don't have like other cards. I needed all my cards to kinda of get there.
All right, at least not turn two Oko this time. So that's good. If I knew that we didn't need Sinister Sabotage for the next turn, this would be a really good time to play the Verity Circle. Because whenever they tap the Gilded Goose for mana. Okay. Well, same tough matchup for us. Tap tower creature without flying. Flying, flying. So now if they ever use the Gilded Goose ever again, I get to draw a card. You know, if they make a food with it, we draw a card. Sweet. Do I have to say I've been just happy with our deck, though? Even if we lose this, like... You know, which we're in a good spot here for this game. But, you know, we won game one last time also. But just overall, I've been... Um... Real satisfied for how our deck's played. <laughs> My opponents just because they they don't have they don't have land drops. They're going to be relying on these gilded geese. <laughs> Thanks, Patient Poet. Ugh. This Warden Warden hasn't been so great. So if I veto this, they could like play a Nissa or an Oko, but then I have Mass Manipulation. I think because I have the mass manipulation, I can veto it. All right, well, we'll draw a card. I had 100% veto, but I'm a rebel.
No, that wasn't really the worst case scenario. I have, you know, I can I can spend five mana and keep this thing tapped. And draw cards. You know, it, like that thing's a, it's a creature without flying, so it kind of turns on my Verity Circle. Wasn't well, necessarily the worst case scenario. First case is like Veil of Summer when I try to veto. And I don't know. I'm having other stuff. Yeah, yeah. Play Nissa into Veil of Summer. Even just like I I try to steal Nissa, they bounce it back with Brazen Borrower even. I don't want to just cast deploy. Nah. Yeah, after I take it with manipulation, then they borrow it back. Yeah, this is just cycling for two mana, but it's gonna be it's good it's a draw two for us. I'll do that instead of just tapping like so if I tap Verity Circle, um then I have the three mana left. All right, we're going to have a lot of cards. Um, I guess this doesn't work too well right now. If I play the Verity Circle, then I'm getting getting hit by the Wicked Wolf. I wish these adventure creatures would work. Would have had a good brazen borrower and giant killer and stuff. Um. It doesn't really seem like it does too much.
Bataro! Thanks for the Twitch Prime sub. Thanks, Bataro. No, you you can't. You just can't r reveal. Or like the adventure creatures don't do anything if you reveal them. Hmm. We're like run out of time, aren't I? I don't know exactly what I'm looking for. I mean, I guess it's just Gadwick. Ten mana. I honestly don't even know if I'm supposed to be like getting rid of these wicked wolves if they matter. Like, that could be a bad prison realm, to be honest. But I also need to get cards out of hand. Like, I kind of wanted to just, just to play the Borrower. I'm kind of saving mass manipulation for cards that matter more. Yeah, multiple circles stack. You get to draw multiple cards. We got lots of cards though. We're good there. Uh, Oko is banned in, in Brawl. Yeah, Oko got banned in Brawl. I should have waited on that prison realm. I think I should have waited. Sweet. Opponent gives up. No, I, d I don't think I don't think he can be in the seventy the fifty nine at all. Yeah, he's, oh, he's just br wait. Yeah. Yeah, I thought he's banned in the deck too. Yeah, he's banned as a commander or in the deck. Like you can't play him at all. I think last time I took out Sabotage Kefnet. I 
I'm not sure about these mass manipulations that they're playing Bra Brazen Borrower, though. I'm going to trim one. Oh, I took out the Giant Killers also. Yeah, I think it's eaten by Wicked Wolf. Kevnet did look really good there, though. They didn't have... I'll cut one borrower this time and keep the sabotage in here. Okay, so it's banned and then in parentheses it says this includes as your commander. So that would make it seem like it's all of the cards. Yeah, it really is too good for standard. Yep, or as a part of your deck. <clears throat> Our mana base is quite tranquil. Yeah, kind of decided I don't really have room for Ether Gust. And so, therefore, it's, pos it's possible I shouldn't have Ether Gust in the sideboard. Yeah, this is the first ban on Oko. It's in Bra it's get it's banned in Brawls now. about me is absolute nonsense it's not agree good. your absolute nonsense thief of crowns okay triple double check Make sure that's the right oko So the last time we tried this, they had Golgari Queen to blow up my Spyglass. Hope that doesn't happen again. <laughs> Sit down, Oko. Okay. So I don't think it's probably worth it to use a Prison Realm on an, a Crowl Harpooner. They kept that card on top. So whatever it is, they like it.
They're digging for Krasis, is my guess. Um, no, I have, I have, other, I have two or three donation decks that I'm going to be doing tomorrow. So maybe Brawl for the last slot. Yeah, I have, um, yeah, we have, we just have, like, some donation decks for tomorrow. Basically, ones I gotta put together. Or, um, or tune. I have, like, rough drafts that people want tuned. Well, Paradise Druid's really annoying because it has, with it having Hexproof, I can't just, like, tap it immediately. I guess borrower, borrower will kill my opponent faster than Paradise Druid will kill me. But obviously they have all of these foods. Power surges through these lands. Boo. Harness the elements. That's a good card. I must go. Man, that that sounds um, that sounds kind of ominous, you know, like, and it says, like, I must go to the prison realm. Summer is so powerful. If I bounce Paradise Druid, then I can, can't cast Brazen Borrower. So basically, I can do like activate Verity Circle and cast the Borrower, or I could do activate Verity Circle and cast Petty Theft and bounce Druid. I 
Should probably cast Petty Theft. Yeah, Oka's locked down with Spyglass. Scry at the top. I don't like seeing that. We may, we may find like Gadwick or even Time Wipe. Surprised they haven't cracked the food at all. Yeah, I just rebooted Arena before this match, too. Yeah, it's crisis. I guess I should have upkeep tapped the island. It does draw me three cards. So they get to draw four, but I get to draw three. Like I basically can just cast Deploy as, as Divination right now. If I wanted, I could just cast Divination. Yeah, let's draw two. I want to be able to hit a land drop. Another crisis. Mobilize district. So do I name Nissa or Mobilize District? Probably Nissa. I don't know, the Mobilize District I guess could be a problem. Let's go mobilize the strikes. So I can tap the district forever, but it's five mana. You know, cost them less than that to activate. I don't want to just lock up five mana forever on that mobilize district. Wait, not you. You. Wait, could I just name food? Can you spyglass food? 
Is that a thing that works? So five, seven. Oh, this wasn't an island. I thought that was an island over there. Come on. There you go. All right, so we've gone through 15 lands. Yeah, food's not a card, right? So yeah, you can't name food. I didn't think so. It's just same as like Clue. You can't name Clue to try to stop Clue token because Clue's not a card. There has to be a card named Food. I don't think I want to fetch. So my bottom three cards are all lands. They still have the Brazen Borrower that gets to block here. That's a pretty good draw.
All right, I guess I am fetching. To be able to have the mana for everything in my hand. Because I, I want to do the fetch before my scry. Right, I don't want to... I don't want to, like, scry and leave something on top and then have to fetch later on afterwards. I still have the mana to activate Verity Circle and tap the 3 3 and still have Veto available. What are they casting? Templar! Thanks for that resub, I appreciate that. Yeah, I I, I know, I'm gonna have to get a, a new computer here eventually. I, I'm in the process of the slow process of getting approved for a loan for buying a house and buying a house and stuff, and so I'm going to be doing all that before. But I, I know that with how much, with everything that Arena takes, that I can't... Um, That, that I'm going to need a new computer, basically. No, you can't tap the goose. You can only tap creatures without flying. So no, they're not dead. If I attack with both creatures, I die, because they block one, they make a food. Well, I would draw two cards, at least. So they did not make a food. So now... Now, if they, do, if they brick, I win, basically, now. They could have made a food so that... Even if they break, they get two draws, but then I get I get to draw two cards if they make a food, so it's a tough call for them. Yeah, Verity Circle is only creatures without flying. Because I guess the flyers can fly over the circle. All right, two and one, and yeah, I'll go ahead and just reset again, I guess. Yeah, I had district named with Spyglass. And I had Oko named with Spyglass. Yeah, the anti goose tech. If they want to make food, I draw cards. I'll just say I've been really happy with how this deck's playing out. We won two matches, 2-0 two each, and then we lost a close match, 2-1. to one. So we're 5-2 and two in games. Yeah, the colorless land in the Thera spoilers that lets you tap creatures, yeah, it would work in this deck for sure. Yeah, that'd be an easy include. There's no reason to try to, try to play opt on turn one when you don't know what your opponent's playing. I, mean, I guess now we have more information about what our opponent's doing. 
Um, so I can Brazen Borrower bounce the goose. It's not great. That slows him down. Oh yeah, I guess I could have just bounced the food. I didn't really consider bouncing the food. So if they have Nyssa, I have enough power in the air to help to start attacking Nyssa, but if they have Oko, I'm obviously just dead. I know. <laughs> it's like, can we please just stop facing Oko decks? Oh yeah, it removes a creature from combat, it doesn't tap. Oh yeah, never mind. if we meet again. So I, I definitely do not like... I definitely don't like that my opponent's playing Soltai and playing Golgari Queen, as we saw like the other game, Golgari Queen. Um, you know, destroys Spyglass, destroys Prison Realm. Makes my life harder for sure. Why? You don't usually play against as many of these Oko decks in this event, but we're three out of four now. If they would have bounced on end step, then I would not have been able to replay the cuff net.
<sighs> Alright, see you, Kefnet. It's back in there somewhere. So, of course, the Vraska can kill the Gadwick, and now I don't have any mana to counter either. But we also just get a whole lot of cards. So that's good. It's not often I'm outmaneuvered. So no lands out of all of those. If we draw a land, we can have manipulation for two. So if they played Nyssa or Hydroid Crisis, have double manipulation here. Nope. All right, so I could just steal Crisis. There we go. First thing is get a land drop. Alright, so we have the same amount of mana. Crisis is a good card to have under Prison Realm. Uh, you're not really doing anything. Mary, thank you so much for the, the Twitch Prime sub there, Mary. I appreciate that. Now we'll kill Vraska. And then I'm just going to pass with these counter spells available after my opponent just drew multiple cards with Krasis. Oh, it's the eighth sub of the day. I'm, I'm one behind. Probably deal with that. What the hell do you do? I don't know. I'll just draw you. Figure it out. We haven't played this card yet. Should probably play it. Hmm. Still no land drop. With our regular draw step and then the card off Dovin. Alright, well Dovin did a good job. Dovin gained two life, drew us a card, and put a land into play from our deck. And so, and rampant growth dust, and traded for a card on their end. That's a good three for one. Yeah, Dovin found the land drop after all.
Five, six, seven, eight, nine. This means I still have Sabotage plus Veto. We haven't seen any of our uh, Verity Circles yet. The... Something I do have to be concerned about, of course, is winning before I draw 31 more cards. But hopefully this mass manipulation can help with that. Mm. These counter spells are just really valuable, and I kind of need to save them for planeswalkers, honestly. I wish I would have had that card. I don't like that I use that on the Wicked Wolf. All right, hopefully we hit a land drop here. Yay. Any good best of three black green deck? I think the the best one is is black green adventures. That's a very good that's a very good deck. That's what I'd recommend. No, Kefnek does not work with adventures. They're creatures. All right. We've been getting the game ones in this matchup. Game two and three, you know, like they get to bring in all their Veil of Summers, Counter Magic, stuff like that. Um, it's kind of weird just bringing all the vetoes and time wipes in. Something else I'm supposed to be taking out. Oh, I took out a couple of Verity Circles. I don't know, Verity Circle's pretty good. Kind of like a Depose Deploy. Uh, I kind of want to play these 61. I could get rid of the Sabotage, but I think I need all these counters. 
Could just get rid of an opt. Oh, I cut a manipulation. That's what I cut last time. I cut one of the manipulations because of Brazen Borrower on their side. <clears throat> yeah, you could play Cavalier Gales for another recurring big threat. Yes, but... Um, I don't think that's what the... Like, I think so far what we've struggled with is Planeswalkers, and Cavalier of Gales doesn't help that. So Cavalier of Gales... I don't think like we, like I just don't think we need another big threat, basically. Come on, Arena. I'm going to have to just reset my router and everything. I mean, is this waiting on my opponent? It says their clock's going down, but it could be me. I don't know if I've seen this too much. I'm... I'm just resetting. I'm just force closing. I don't know what was going on there. CD looks like that. Oh, D oh disconnection. Okay. Yeah, I don't want to risk it of like me being disconnected. Okay. Looks like it looks like it is them, not me. I think. <sighs> yep, long games. We're good two hours in. Well, hopefully that, that does mean them disconnecting. I always have, like, you can never trust, like, Magic Online. Like, Magic Online, like, when like you would be disconnected, and it would tell you, like, your clock would be going down for the opponent, and it would be like, um, but it was actually, like, your clock going down. And so you can never really trust it. Are other people having problems with Arena right now? There we go. Okay, we're back to this. All right, three wins, one loss. Okay. Yeah, I played a mono blue in the, the Artisan uh, event. Basically, the the budget mono blue that we had before. That the only the only card that didn't fit in there was Brazen Borrower, and so I just replaced those with Unsummons. I played that deck. You've lost drafts like that. The opponent was roping you, but it turned out you were roping them, and you exploded. Yeah, you gotta watch out for it. Okay, something different, not Oko. Ugh, however, looks like they're playing a ton of creatures, and I don't have my sweepers in the main deck. This is like Selesnya Adventures is trying to go wide. I don't have my my sweepers in the main deck. All 
All right, hopefully we find an untapped land here with the opt so that then the Fable Passage is turned on as an untapped land for turn four. You're cool, Kefnet, but I need land. <laughs> Alright, kind of. Kind of found an untapped land. I'm not going to fetch my turn. I'm going to wait till next turn, play the other Fable Passage, and then fetch. Yeah, you could do some good stuff with Abzad Adventures. Absolutely. Kind of like Golgari, but then have like, you know, Giant Killer and the Shepherd. I've been really impressed with Shepherd. Yeah, you could definitely do some some cool stuff there with. Um, with Abzan. Alright, we're just going to be taking this. Gotta love Dovin's Veto, being able to get rid of the 5-5s. Five fives. Yeah, <laughs> Deploy is a pretty good sweeper, that's true. So I pay two life. I, I'm I'm technically gaining one life because I wasn't going to be blocking that shepherd anyway. Um, so I basically gained one life. All right, now Gadwick is a lot of defense. Same with Deploy. That's fine. That's why we have four. <laughs> Maybe I may just want to just cast Deploy here. I guess they, they do play big creatures for me to use Giant Killer on. <clears throat> Alright, I'm going to just cast Deploy. I could have played the Giant Killer first and been able to gain 3 life instead of gain 2 life.
<laughs> yeah. I mean, we're just playing Settle the Wreckage, basically. Except for they don't get any lands. Gain two life. Lame. No, that Flaxen Intruder is going to kill my Verity Circle. That's not cool. That's not cool. Guess we'll have to tap it. Yeah, we could we could steal their Flax and Intruder and then blow up their Conclave Tribunal. That's that is something we can do. No real reason to wait with that. So now if they want to convoke anything, if they want to convoke stuff, we draw cards. Oh man, think if, if they play Venerate Luxon, we get to draw a lot of cards. Yeah, the anti convoke tech. This card's been just pretty good. All the mana creatures in standard right now. Wicked Wolf, like Wicked Wolf gets tapped whenever they sack their their food. We draw a card. Yeah, I like this card style. I don't know, I just like this yeah, I I, I have that card style. I'm just using this this full art one. I'm not hating on Selesnia. I love Selesnia. Yeah, the Brazen Borrower card art. That, that one is looks really nice. I don't really like this Giant Killer one as much. I like this Giant Killer one more. I don't know. I like I like the boy here, but I don't like the rest of the art. I don't really like the boy here, but I like the rest of the art.
I don't really need a second fairy circle. Yeah, this is gonna be hard to win. Not gonna lie. Just against a million one ones. Hey, what's up, team? Yeah, I mean, I guess that's my plan. Mass manipulate a bunch of 1-1s. One -ones. I don't have a better plan. I wish I had a Jace. Because I could have kept the second Ver Verity Circle and been able to mill them very fast. I'm looking for counter magic because of another... Another mass manipulation is where we're really in trouble. I probably should have kept... I probably should have just kept that prison realm. Get rid of this giant killer that can tap my 4-4. Four -four. Yeah, I know those scries go to waste there, but I actually I didn't mind shuffling the prison realm back. I probably should have kept that. All right, we got to find a counter spell. There's three counter spells in the deck, I think, and we're we we can draw the, a third of our deck. I don't want to. I want to stop drawing. Are you kidding me? Well, I guess we get six. So we have like six lands. Sixteen cards.
Gotta take out the lifelinkers. Four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm fine if they, if they want to sacrifice this black sin intruder now to kill my Verity Circle, I'm fine with that. So I can steal three creatures. If I steal three creatures, I don't die. I go down to one. Right? Because then they'll still have seven creatures, and I'll have four blockers. So I'll still go down to so I'll go down to one. Yeah, I got I got four blockers. They have seven attackers. I got a couple life, couple of the life linkers, and obviously I need to take the giant killer. Well, I'm the problem with Dovin is I am worried about milling out. But yeah, I could have gone Dovin Kefnet. Gain two life with Dovin to. I don't know. I kind of like kind of like this play more. I like getting rid of this giant killer. Yeah, this is a May, but still. I gotta do twenty one damage here. No attacks, that's big game. So what I so I have four counter spells in the main deck. Two veto, two sabotage. We've seen the two vetoes. We haven't seen the sabotages yet. That's a great card to draw. I, I that was a really big mistake. Um, tapping that Gary, that fairy guide mother. I really needed to tap a life linker. That was a big mistake. I need needed to tap a life linker.
Okay. All right, well, they didn't attack. I got 13 in the air right now. Oh, yeah, why didn't I just take this and then it's lethal? What am I doing? Yeah, I could have just had lethal in the air there by just stealing the, the Tristani. Yeah, just that, that turn, I, I should have just stolen Tristani. There you are, Sinister Sabotage. Nice of you to show up. Yeah, I messed that up. I messed that up. I was too focused on this brazen bar where I just drew. Game's a hard one. So they can only gain six life here. It's like we're good. That's so all good. All right, we won game one. Before we get all of our time wipes, we handled an army of lifelinkers. So that's a good sign. I don't know, like all, all these games are really long. All right, so this is 60. Um, Prison Realm's good against the, uh, I mean, it can get rid of the Edgewall Innkeeper for good. Warrant Warden did a good job for us that game. So I'm going to get rid of it. For the Prison Realms. Yeah, poss possibly I should bring in more Vetoes. A very spell-heavy deck. Yeah, honestly, I should probably bring in the Vetoes. I probably should. You know, like sometimes you got to counter like a flourish, obviously march, um, and then just the adventure creatures whenever they use those. Yeah, I, I probably should. I'm at 17. All right, we're both at 17 minutes. It's a good 26 minute game.
No lands? <clears throat> no land? They did have land. Probably could have boarded out some brazen borrowers for more vetoes. Doesn't really seem like a necessary card. So they got four cards. <laughs> no, no, Devin has not been useful for us in this league. I played it in Esper Control last week, and it was really good in that deck. But for this this league, for how we're, this deck is playing and everything, Devin hasn't really been useful. As far as I know, Deckmaster is working. It looks like it's working over on my side. I'm kind of guessing they're just sitting on Vela Summer. No, maybe not. Okay, not marching while I'm tapped out. I was interested to see if they would do that. They just cast a march. I guess these Brazen Borrowers look like they're just going to be closing out this game here. So basically I could just like have them spend the mana again to play Questing Beast instead of just countering it last turn. Use the bounce. This 
this looks really good. I'm pretty sure we got this. You know, if their plan is just to hold up Giant Killer to tap, I, would, I was going to be able to tap the Giant Killer on this end step, so they couldn't do that either. So yeah, that's it. All right, good job, Brazen Borrower. I was very happy how I played that one. All right, four and one. Time for another match. Time for another reset. <laughs> yeah, five minutes ago, borrowers were like, eh, maybe this card's not worth it. I should just sideboard it out. Five minutes later, borrower wins game very fast. It's like, oh, I guess, I guess it worked out. All right, so we got final boss time. Final boss playlist time. What do you think about the white adventure creature that taps two creatures for this deck? Um, basically two, like, just not good enough, basically. Um, I think kind of like worse than like De Depose, Deploy, and don't need more of that option. Um, and I, I think I'd prefer Warrant Warden still also. We're definitely not going to have time for all four decks today. And <laughs> thanks, Cook. Glad you like the deck. I'd have to say that I've been really, um, really pleasantly surprised with Depose Deploy. That card has been amazing. Better than I thought it was going to be. No two drop, no attack. That's a tilt. That's somebody tilted right there. Good old fashioned tilt. Basically, going to take out all the counter magic and try to just have as much removal as possible. No, there's no way to add the records to the Stream Deck site when I post it. No. Um, the easiest way for if you want records. Yeah, they were really tilted. Not much of a final boss. The easiest way for the records is to. Is to um, is like on the YouTube channel, you know, like if, if you are like, uh, like all the, all the videos go up on the YouTube channel, you can, you know, go to the end of the video if you want to see the record, uh, real quick. All right. Well, that's still a five one, even though our final boss didn't do very much. Like that was just a really long, hard fought league. So like we were, we were, you know, basically going around the forest and just leveling up, leveling up, leveling up all the time going around the forest with this very long league. And then we get to the final boss and we found that we just, you know, we, we got to like level 99, but you really only had to be at like level 35 to kill the boss. And so it was just like one hit dead and realized that we didn't need to spend all that time. Hey, <laughs> close Twitch to send a text and then you missed the whole final match. Yeah. All that happened, Bert, was my opponent played turn one Pelt Collector, game one, on the play. I played a tap land. Uh, my opponent 
played a tap land and then didn't attack and just passed. And then then they got upset that they passed. And then on my turn, I just played a land, but then they just conceded and then conceded again. <clears throat> All right. Anyway, Azorius Circle. This deck was awesome. This deck was really cool. This was, this was a lot of fun to play. Um, I was not really expecting to get a five-win league with Verity Circle and have Verity Circle be awesome, but it was. Yeah, Verity Circle was awesome. Uh, Depose was was great. So was Gadwick. Uh, we got to play um, such good defense and everything. And even, you know, we played against three um, three Oko decks, like two Sultai, one Simic, and went two and one there. Um, I liked our sideboard plan that we had for those matches. Um, I'd have to say the cards, that they were disappointing. Dovin was really disappointing. Dovin's just unnecessary, I think. Um, I think we got a good late game and everything with Verity Circle. I probably just want an extra Prison Realm in the main and just take out Dovin. Just don't need that card. It's probably just, just grab an extra, an extra Prison Realm for some more removal there. The jury's still out on Warrant Warden. I'm not sure about this card. Um, you know, my theory was like blue removal that I could, that I could use to trigger Gadwick. But if I'm if I'm playing this as removal, they already went to attackers, so then I can't tap down their creature after they go to attackers. So, so I'm not so sure about the Warrant Warden. Um, we did get to play Warden a couple of times, and it was kind of it was kind of fine having a four four flying vigilant Sphinx. That helped us beat the green white tokens opponent that one time. We didn't get to do it off Kefnet. Like Kefnet reveal warden, get a three mana um, four four would be pretty nice. Um, but yeah, that's that's a card. Like if, if you're if you're playing this deck later, you're playing the deck more. That's that's a card to kind of watch out for to uh, maybe replace is warrant warden. And maybe it should be some other spell. Um, you know, could be like more prison realm, could be glass casket, could be main deck spy glass, um, could be main deck time wipes. You know, like may maybe we should just be playing time wipes main, um, instead of the warrant wardens. That's, that's a very good chance. They should just have some main deck sweepers. So that's, that's, that's like the only card besides that. I liked everything else. I liked the giant killers, honestly, although that was just pretty nice. Just even like just being a one man, a one, two, they could just be like another body. Um, that was actually nice for deploy. Um, I didn't realize how many bodies we could put out there with Giant Killer, Borrower, Gadwick, Kefnet, and stuff. And Deploy would gain us life a good amount of times. Depose Deploy was surprisingly good. Depose, Circle, Gadwick, those three all worked out really well. Um, could Yeah, could definitely play Teferis. Yeah, instead of Warrant Warden, you could play Teferis also. If you want Teferis in here. I mean, Teferis is just a great card. So, yeah, if you want Teferis, that's a, that's a spot to be able to put it in there. Anyway, we need we should move on. So Azoria Circle, A plus Verity Circle, really cool, uh, very cool deck here. Hope y'all enjoyed that good two hour and forty seven minute league. And if so, if you're watching on YouTube, hit that like and subscribe buttons over there. I'd appreciate that. And also leave some comments if you're trying the deck out. Let me know how it's going for you. Um, I understand not wanting to use wild cards on Verity Circle though. <laughs> I completely understand that. Um, and uh, yeah, if, if you have like a, a, if you if you are trying it out and you replace Warrant Warden with something else, and you found a, a card that you really like in the deck, feel free to you know leave that in the comments. Because yeah, Warrant uses rare wild card also. If you don't have these, that's another rare wild card. So yeah, you can definitely replace those with something you have. All right. Anyway, that's Azoria Circle. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.